My name is Kyle. I'm 35 years old. I'm a fan of long hair. I love touching them, stroking them, breathing in their smell. This is why I have a lot of hair. Do you like men with such long hair? It all started with my childhood. I thought that hair was the only thing I could show off. Others had talents. Someone sang or danced, but I didn't stand out for anything. But my golden curls always brought me attention. Mom loved them very much. She washed my hair every day, then spent hours combing and stroking it. At first, it was very boring for me to sit in one spot for so long. But Mom convinced me that hair is more important than anything. I agree with her 100%. At age five, my mom stopped giving me haircuts, and it grew longer and longer. But then, my hair went from being my fortune to being a curse. At school, having long hair was not as good for me as it was at home. Boys taunted me, calling me Rapunzel and Goldilocks and throwing hairpins and bows at me. I was pulled by my hair often, but the worst was when people spit their gum in my hair. It was just the worst. Mom told me how to defend myself from attacks, but it was all in vain. Well, I didn't even remember my father. Something happened to him at work, but I, I don't know what. At school, I was an outcast, and I thought that in college it would be different. But no. At a party meant for freshmen, I met a real beauty, Kendi. Two years older than me. I always dreamt of such a girl. And she came up to me herself. Do you know what she did? She started stroking my hair and saying that I am her ideal man. Kendi led me to the kitchen. Oh, how naive I was. She brought me into the kitchen and said that my hair really excites her. Kendi asked me to close my eyes and not to open them without her permission. She loosened my hair and started stroking it. It was a great pleasure. But then, she tied me to the radiator with my own hair. I opened my eyes. The kitchen was full of people. Everyone was filming and taking pictures. I became the college star before even starting my studies. I believed that in adult life everything would change, but that wasn't the case. After my studies, I got a job as a system administrator. I wanted to be invisible, far away from people. But they got to me here, too. Chris, a bald guy from the design department, made jokes about me. My hair annoyed him so much. And so one day, he declares a contest in the office. Who thinks of the best hairstyle for Kyle? The contest became popular. Photoshopped pictures of me appeared on social media and were even posted across the office. Everyone laughed at me and suggested to change my hairstyle. Once again... I became the laughing stock. I decided to prove to everyone that my hair is super cool, but it'd be better if I hadn't done so. There was a meeting of hairstylists in the city, and they were looking for people with long hair for a hairdo. At that moment, my hair was below my waist. I decided I definitely need to participate and show all of these morons. Mom was really supportive of me. The organizers were surprised, but had no reason to deny me participation. And you know, this was the best day of my life. The stylist, Clarice, was delighted by my hair. She told me compliments and brushed it. I did, in fact, thoroughly take care of my hair. Half of my salary went to shampoo and masks. And finally, my efforts were rewarded. My hairdo won. I was so proud of my hair and felt like Superman. But it ended in catastrophe. After the contest, when going home... I was attacked by some scumbags. First they teased me, then called me a chick, then they started pulling my hair. I tried defending myself, but there were four of them. They threw me to the ground and began beating on my head. I lost consciousness from the hits. I was urgently sent to the hospital. The doctor later told me that I was unconscious for a week. Due to the serious trauma, I needed an urgent surgery on my head. They called my mom so then she gave permission, but to have the surgery done on my head, my head had to be shaved clean. Imagine it, leaving me without hair. Mom said no to the doctors, 
My condition was becoming worse. The doctor pleaded to my mom as he could, but she said she never wants to see me bald. She signed the papers, but didn't come to me anymore. I regained consciousness, bald, and without my mom. I recovered and was sent home. My hair slowly grew, but mom still didn't appear. All her things were also gone. I couldn't understand. What could have happened? I spent weeks lying at home, working on the computer, almost never going out. One day, the bed in my room broke. I decided to move into mom's room. I was laying out my stuff when I saw a letter. Dear Kyle, 20 years ago, due to chemotherapy, I became fully bald. At that time, your father supported me. He had the same long and beautiful hair like you. I got better and soon understood I was pregnant. But he left me, not having found out about it. Mom felt so bad that she developed trichophilia, a passion for hair. It is a psychological dependence on touching, combing, and smelling hair. This is why she grew out my hair. She could not see me bald as her panic attacks and fear would come back. Do you think it's my fault that my mom left me? She asked me for some time to get back to normal. She also promised me to come back when my hair gets longer. But it's been 15 years since the surgery. Now I'm 35. I drank a lot of vitamins so then my hair grew faster and mom came back sooner. Now it's very long. I really want her to see me now. And she has no one other than me. Share this video. Maybe she'll see it and come back. Let me know what you think of people like me. Give the video a like and subscribe to the channel.